said to you it was about two minutes ago that Michael Jackson actually arrived. His, his cavalcade pulled in just behind me and the fans went berserk. I hope you can see them now. He's wearing a red jacket. He had a bandana around his face and a hat pulled down over his eyes. So there wasn't too much for them to see, but they went absolutely crazy. And now he's up at the windows. Back to the studio. We're assured it's Jacko, not a lookalike. There he is. That's all from us. A very good night to you. Bye-bye. Good night. Or disappearing into his three and a half thousand pound a night suite. The superstar, who's been dogged by illness after collapsing on stage at Christmas, is clearly taking no chances with his health during this trip. He's apparently asked hotel staff to import more than 200 bottles of his favorite American sports drink, and among Jackson's entourage of 120 people are his doctor, personal chef, makeup artists, and publicity men. The 35-year-old singer's personal life is currently in tatters after he split from his wife, Lisa Marie Presley, last month. But the superstar has constantly ridden out the storm of a string of bad headlines, including allegations of child molestation. His single, Earth Song, became a number one hit at Christmas. Jackson, who's just returned from filming his latest pop video in Brazil, will spend this weekend rehearsing with a 50-strong crew for his stage show at Monday's Brit Awards. The spectacular will be his first UK television appearance in 16 years. Deborah Gorbett, GMTV News. Ein Mann mit Maske flaniert durch London. Wenn das nicht Michael Jackson ist, denken sich die Passanten und der sonst so scheue Megastar, der heute bei einer Poppreisverleihung auftritt, lässt sich sogar für Familienalben ablichten. Nur einer kann nicht so recht glauben, dass hinter der Maske auch der echte Jacko steckt. Dieser Straßengaukler ist überzeugt, er sei einem Double begegnet. Erst auf den zweiten Blick erkennt er, wen er vor sich hat. Vielleicht hat Michael dadurch selbst an seiner Echtheit Zweifel bekommen. Doch ein Besuch bei Madame Tussauds hat ihn wieder überzeugt, ich muss das Original sein. Throughout the entire shopping trip, Michael kept his mask on. You see, it protects him from the London smog. Yes, even inside the shops. Being handed over, that was Michael's buy in this store, a Winnie the Pooh lunchbox. Okay, driver, that's your cue. Follow that cab, follow that, follow that superstar. And so the superstar went to Piccadilly Circus. It being lunchtime, why not go to a restaurant? Michael didn't eat though, he watched them dancing on the tabletops. And so the highlight of my day, standing very close to him, why not shake hands? You can just about see me coming up now in the left-hand corner of the telly. His handshake, warm and gentle. With his mask on, I couldn't understand a thing he was saying there. Michael was in a good mood with a hello for everyone, especially the children. Then it was across the corridor into the rock circus waxworks. Michael particularly taken by one of his heroes, Jimi Hendrix. I'm shocked they make them touchable. They make them where you can touch them. I'm shocked they let you... Further on the tour, Michael saw a likeness of himself, a waxwork of Michael Jackson. I asked him if he liked it, but with the mask and now headphones on, he could neither hear me nor answer. Michael then left for Covent Garden, mingling with Sunday afternoon shoppers, amazed at the sight. They were convinced it was a Michael Jackson lookalike. This was for real, though. At Covent Garden, he watched the fire-eating street performer who pulled down Michael's mask just to make sure it really was him. And satisfied, he pointed out to Michael that he'd cost him money taking away his crowd. Michael's aide stepped in at this point and donated a sizable contribution. In a matter of minutes, he fast became the Pied Piper of Covent Garden. No one amongst the crowd that followed him really believed it was Michael Jackson. He visited the Mechanical Toy Museum here, and then it was back to his hotel to rest for rehearsals last night. No temperatures to Earl's Court. Jacko's in town, of course. He's been rehearsing a live version of Earth Song that has showstopper written through it. And the Jackson was performing Earth Song when Cocker appeared. According to some reports, he attacked three of the child dancers. Despite the denial, Jackson has declared himself sickened, shocked, upset, cheated and angry over what happened. Cocker was released from custody at three o'clock this morning on police bail.
For the guests at one of London's poshest hotels, it was not the most tranquil of mornings. A handful of hardy fans had kept up the chant all night, but as day dawned, the crowd swelled and so did the noise. But for much of the day, his fans had to be content with pale imitations of the real thing. Then a short time ago, Jackson finally emerged. Some say his mask is to ward off germs. Others claim it's simply to hide his deteriorating plastic surgery. But even a partial glimpse of their idol was enough to raise his fans to new heights of ecstasy. Jackson's here for next week's Brit Awards, where he'll perform his smash hit Earth Song Live. After a brief round of pressing the flesh, Jackson was whisked off, apparently to do some sightseeing and shopping. Judging by his reception this evening, his homecoming will be just as noisy. John Gumbley, 